guys, welcome back. So it is time again to talk about Moonshine Manny. If you don't know what Moonshine Manny, it is a brand of my creating. I make it here in my home in California. And I have a website if this is your first Moonshine Manny video. We launched in um, December with our Christmas collection and we've had a collection usually a smaller size collection approximately once a month since then to kind of fill my website as this first year goes along. I've learned a lot of things. I've had so much fun. So just a little bit about the brand since I have had questions recently. They are hand mixed by me. They are cruelty free, five free, and our August collection is four brights. So I'm not calling them neons even though they are derivative of neon pigments because some of them I added some different things to them which toned the color down a little bit but they're still very bright. Here are our August shades and this is the totally tubular collection. So we went ahead and went with an 80s theme. It's an 80s inspired collection. And I don't know about you, but I definitely remember when things were tubular and I actually named each of these polishes after one of my favorite 80s movies. So I hope you catch that reference when we get there as well. They're each retailing for $8 a piece. These are all creams. They do have a little bit of shimmer. Actually, I added violet shimmer to most of them and some gold to others, violet and gold if it has gold in it, just to give it a little bit of extra dimension. It gives it a little bit more interest than just a cream. But from far away, for example, do you see any shimmer in this? <laughs> it basically will look just like a cream. It's just when you get really up close, if you know to look for it, it's going to you know, look a little bit shimmery, especially if you add top coat. These are matte if you're not wearing top coat, and then if you add the top coat, of course, it just gives it a whole different look, and it's beautiful and shimmery, and I really enjoy them. This is also first collection to introduce you to our new bottles. I've showed you in past Swatch Fests, um, just in the month of July, we switched our bottle over. I just was telling you guys how I just was getting so tired of putting the labels on the lids. That was done out of necessity of my bad being a noob and not knowing that the bottles that I chose originally would not allow labels to adhere on them. So um, yeah, we've switched to this bottle. It is a rectangle shape, as you can see. One of my favorite features about these bottles is that it's rectangle, so when you put it on your shelf, it is such a space saver. Like you can put so many of these bottles on your shelf, you can still very easily see what the color is, and our bottle is pretty unique, so it's probably pretty easy for you to tell um, you know, on our shelf without looking at the logo that that's the brand that you're looking at. I really love that about it. I mean, when I went to the indie shop this last, the last weekend ago, I was able to take so many polishes in like half as many Helmers as when I went to the last show. It's just a feature of the bottle. You're still getting the same amount of polish. It's actually just a tiny bit more than our last one. Um, and it just saves a ton of room. We also have this matte cap. I also changed the brush just a little bit. It's a little bit of a wider brush with a flat stem, so lots of changes. The name um, is still on the bottom and our label is right there on the front, new labels as well. So really excited about all these changes and excited to launch them with this Totally Tubular collection. So I'm gonna get right into it. We're gonna do live application just like we do every collection on my channel. So first let's talk about this pink. This was the first one I made. I thought if I'm doing brights, for summer, if out of the whole year, if I'm gonna do a bright, hot, hot pink, let's do it for the end of the summer. Let's kick it off with a bang. I wear bright shades, well really any kind of shade, any time of the year that I want to, but I figured this would be the perfect time to do it. So this polish is called It Is So Choice, and this is named after the part in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, where he's talking about the car, and he's like, it is so choice. I highly recommend you pick up one. So this is a kind of corally pink. It's a very hot pink, but I added a little bit of coral in there, and I also added gold and that violet shimmer. So this has got a couple of different shimmering properties. It is really, really bright. I'm gonna swatch everything for you two coats today. The pink and the orange, because they are lighter pigmented colors in general, you could go for a third if you want to. I didn't feel the need to do that today, so I'm just showing you two. My photo is going to be two coats with top coat because I I like all of these best with top coat. So it is so choice, the first polish in the totally tubular collection. After I made the pink, I decided to go ahead and make an orange, and this one is basically a neon orange. It's really, really bright. If all of them had been as bright as this one and the pink one, I would have gone ahead and called these neons. But in any case, 
this is really bright. Be warned. This is called 1.21 gigawatts, you know, in Back to the Future, where the professor just keeps saying 1.21 gigawatts. I think you could pronounce it gigawatts or gigawatts, but he says gigawatts, doesn't he? I listened to it like 12 times. Anyway, I named it that because this is like super, super bright, and that's just like a ridiculous, ludicrous number to him in that movie, and one of my favorite lines from the show. So this one, again, I'm showing you two coats. My photo will be with top coat. This has that violet shimmer in it again. So it's violet. In some of the polishes, it looks more pink, and sometimes it looks violet, but it's the same one in all the polishes. And I love it. I feel like it just gives like that extra, like it almost looks more like a bright neon light because of how it glows off of there. So I love it. Again, though, it's not so in your face that you're like, whoa, that's a shimmer polish. These still just mainly look like creams. So yes, this is 1.21 gigawatts. The next polish I made was this totally awesome green. This is called Cowabunga. So can you guess what movie I named this after? Does anybody not know what that is from? I guess if you weren't born until after the 90s, you might not know, but this is from the Ninja Turtles, and this is just one of their fun sayings that they have. Again, this is derivative from two different neon pigments. I took a bright laser lemon pigment and a blue and mixed together to make this teal shade, and I added a little pinch of blue because I like blue kind of greens. This also still has the violet shimmer in there, which is really, really fun. It's great at two coats. I do have a number of greens in my collection so far, but nothing quite like this, and so I'm really, really enjoying this. This is not for the faint of heart. This is really fun and bright. So yes, this is Cowabunga. And last up in the collection, before we go over a few limited edition things that are popping up on my website, we have this one, which is what I have on my nails. I actually have it on today over another purple that I was wearing right before I made this video, and I wanted to pop this color on, but I've been wearing this for like a week. It looks slightly darker on my nails right now because I have it on over something dark. This looks in person how this does in the bottle. It's really, really bright. This is derivative from a violet neon pigment. So they're calling this kind of shade neon, but I think to be fair, it's not quite neon. It's more like a bright, but you know, purple neons. Purple is one of the tricky neon shades because it doesn't really look super neon because the pigment is darker, in my opinion. So anyway, this is called Hey You Guys. Do you know what that film is from? I hope you know, one of my favorite 80s movies ever. This is from Goonies and um, yeah, this just, <laughs> this color makes me smile because it's so just exactly the type of shade that I love. And then the movie, of course, is just too awesome. So um, yes, I'm doing this at two coats as well. It does also have that violet shimmer going all throughout. And I showed you with top coat as with all the rest because that's how I like them best. So that is all the four pieces in the collection. Each polish is retailing for $8 on my website. If you buy them as a set, they are listed for $28. Two of our Moana polishes look particularly nice with this collection. They are also actually derivative of neon pigments. Um, this one is also I Last of the Sun. If you guys remember when these were released way back, was it in March? April? April. I have these two creams. Actually, we had four creams in that collection, but these ones look especially nice. Just look, I just, I just feel like they almost go together. So. Anyway, I wanted to remind you about these guys if you're looking for more ultra bright creams. And I just want to let you guys know that any of that little pigmentation issue that I had way back in April has been solved for a long time. Basically, it was just that first batch. Um, so if you had any worry about that, those polishes that are in this formula, I've remade them a number of, you know, I've had a few batches since then and all those kind of kinks have been sorted out. So things you learn as you go and I apologize for, you know, if I disappointed anybody by putting out those polishes before they were 100% perfect. I was, well I still am, just learning all the time. So anyway, I've definitely figured out how to solve that issue. And um, so no worries, if you purchase these you won't find any little bits in them. Um, but in any case, I did just want to share with you how I thought that these uh, worked really well together. Here they are all together actually. I feel like they make just such a cute little rainbow. So I did want to remind you that those polishes are on my website still as well. And if you don't know about this blue, this one is a dupe for Sally Hansen's original formula Pacific Blue. This is called In the Pacific because you remember how they discontinued their original formula and now it's like a jelly kind of polish. This, um, I worked hard to try to figure out exactly how they made that and I think I figured it out. It was using a really tricky pigment which is why mine was a little bit screwy at first and maybe why they don't make it anymore, I don't know. But um, anyway, so yeah, 
in the Pacific, and then also I lasso the sun are the ones that I'm suggesting are really great companions to this collection. And you will maybe notice as you're going through my website that a lot of things are sold out right now. Basically anything from the Christmas collection, the January collection, and the February collection, so everything before Moana, I'm just going to go ahead and let those things sell out because I did have some things that have been out of stock for quite a while and everything else in that collection I think we're going to, if not put them on a temporary hiatus, they're going to just be gone when they're sold. So just giving you guys a fair warning, there's a few polishes that I only have like two left of at all and some of the other ones are maybe just a handful. So they're gonna be sold out and then after that they won't be on my website anymore. So I just wanted to give you guys that little notice. Um, so if, you, if there's anything you wanted to snatch, you probably should do it now before they're gone. So um, anyway, I'm going to show you three limited edition things. So first up, I created these two polishes for the indie shop in the Bay Area. They are mermaid themed because that was the theme of our event. And the first one is the one that was sitting on my table that anybody could purchase and it's called Mermaid Tears. And I pretty, I sold very nearly all of these. I have about, I'm, I, it's a little under a dozen of these to sell. So I'm going to list these on the website. Um, I'll give you a swatch here of them too for you and it's basically this teal kind of jelly base and there is chameleon chrome flakies in there so they're going from pink to green to gold and I have shimmer in there as well it's a gold shimmer and there's micro fuchsia and pink glitters in there as well so really fun I was inspired by everything fishy so <laughs> everything mermaidy so um, that's what this polish is about and it's called Mermaid Tears and once it sells out it will also be gone. The other polish that I made for the event is my mystery polish that I had, um, I didn't have out on the table but if you rolled a certain number at purchase you were going to get this for free. So a bunch of you went home with this um, but and not enough people rolled the dice so I came home with quite a few so if you're interested in this I am popping it up on my website too. This is called Mysterious Fathoms Below, so mysterious. Um, but this really did make me feel like the deep dark ocean but you can still see like all the jewelly fishy things under there. So this has a pretty strong gold shimmer. It is not hidden in the slightest. So this polish, I actually wore it the whole time at the Andy shop at just two coats. I didn't even need that third coat because the gold shimmer is so strong that you kind of don't even really see that there's a little bit of visible nail line but you guys will see it as we're doing the live application right now. So you can go for third if you want to. It's this, I think it looks blue, but um, you guys know I have an issue with blue and purple. It's definitely a purpley blue. It's a blurple shade. Um, and so yeah, it's this jelly kind of formula again. And we have those same flakies as the last one, pink to gold to green. And then I have different, there's like aquamarine and blue glitters in there. And there's also micro hollow in there. With this um, polish and actually anything that has flakies and glitter in it, you're gonna really wanna use a lot of top coat to just even everything out. With this polish in particular, top coat is your friend. I have been wearing this on my Cinderella hand for like a week. I really, really love it. If you don't like a really busy look on your nail, this probably isn't gonna be your fave because there's a lot of stuff in here. Because I was really trying to evoke, like kind of like Ariel's treasure trove, you know? Like how she has all those really precious things to her down there. That's what I was trying to evoke. So um, that's what this polish is. And these are all going to be going up on the website for $11 a piece. The, uh, these last three, the creams are $8. The last polish um, that we're going to be putting up on the website is Honor's limited edition polish that she created in July. I showed this to you guys a couple swatch fests ago. Um, or was it? Yeah, I think it was one or two swatch fests ago. One day when I was making polish, Honor decided to create some polish and I didn't take note of what she put in it. I was just letting her have a little bit of fun. And she's really, really great with her color combos of glitter. She loves glitter, by the way. So her polishes will probably always have glitter, flakies, or hollow. The next time she went to sit down and make one, I wrote down the whole recipe and she made an actually very beautiful, deep kind of um, royal purple and this is a jelly base again. I had her thin this out quite a bit because there's a lot going on in here. So we have these same flakies that you saw in the last two polishes and then she doesn't have any shimmer in here so that differs a little bit from the ones that I just showed you. But she has blue and aquamarine glitters in there and pink. And I think there's one other thing I'm forgetting, but there's also flakies. I have it all, of course, in my recipe list, but 
This is really fun and she's really, really excited about it. So this looks really sheer at one coat, but it really does start to get opaque at that second coat and you can go for a third if you want to as well. So in all these um, limited edition polishes, I went ahead and showed you three coats and all of my um, photos are with top coat. So that is the last polish that we're putting up on the website this month. I hope that you found something that you like. We had so much fun making polish this month. The kids are going a little bit crazy out in the living room. I can hear them. Salem and Lincoln are home now, so he's watching them while they're watching Lego Batman. So anyway, you guys, I think that's it. That's everything you need to know about these polishes. So I will, as always, link in the description bar below where you can go to purchase anything I've shown you. I always do that, you guys. If you never open up that description bar, there's lots of good information down there. So I will link down there where you can go. And I think that's going to be it. Don't forget, if you order over $50, you can use the code free shipping. All right, so that's going to be it, you guys. I hope you have happy shopping or at the very least that you just had some fun hanging out with me today, seeing what we've been up to lately. And these are already online. I think I kind of stated that earlier, but just to be clear, they're already for sale on my website. So um yeah that's it you guys thank you thanks for coming by to hang out with me today i will see you back for the next one you guys take care love you bye